because when you go to take off, especially in the F-18 Hornet, you actually sit in the cockpit, it's a single seat cockpit, so you're by yourself, and you have to turn to one side of the carrier and show everyone that you're not touching anything, and you literally hold your hands up. <laughs> And then you turn and you show again, everyone, I'm not touching anything. And then you put your hands and you hold these bars to make sure that you're not touching anything before you take off. And the reason that they don't want you touching anything is because the computer's going to fly it. The computer always does a better job than you do. And if a person touches the controls, it sends a command to the computer and the computer has to try to evaluate what the human is thinking. And it can cause even that split second of a delay can cause problems, and since you're flying it very close to the stall margin up uh, off the front of the carrier, it can cause you to crash. So you're like a five-year-old as a fighter pilot in the plane. Do not touch anything. We do not want you touching anything. <laughs> and then it makes you wonder, well, if I'm not able to touch anything, and I can only do bad if I touch anything, and it's always landing itself better than I could, then why am I here? And so that was my time flying fighters was me realizing that there was something bigger happening, something more with automation. And um, I'm not really good at forecasting the future. You never want to invest in anything that I ever invest in because uh, that's a for sure not going to do well. But this is the one time that I actually was right, that I looked forward and I said, you know what, this is going to be bigger and better. It was also a time of social upheaval. And so I decided that after... Um, about not quite 10 years in the Navy, um, I decided that it was time for me to get out. I went back to school, got my PhD, and, and if you did not hear one word out of my, the one word you should have heard is human, right? Because I do, I am a roboticist, but my angle is very different from most roboticists in the sense that I'm the human advocate. I'm championing for the human whenever you see these complex robotic systems. That means I'm both championing the strengths of the human, but also understanding that we're all deeply flawed and tried to balance the design of systems to come up with the most effective joint system. 